Find out what is behind the extra degree. Cy Woods has a poet laureate, breaking borders for our students. It's time to venture deep into the woods. Welcome to Cypress Woods High School, home of the Wildcats. You're watching Seat Up Today. Welcome to our first episode of Seed Up Today of the new school year. I'm Maggie Wright. And I'm Xavier Gonzalez from Seed Up Media. We are excited to be back and 100% in person. Hey Maggie, is it hot in here? Well, we are working at that extra degree. Siwitz High School has been open for 16 years, but do you know how the 212 degree concept was conceived? Ben has more on this steamy story. When Siwitz was founded 15 years ago, we didn't have the legendary 212 motto. To uncover its origins, we have to look into the beginning. As one of the first coaches here at Woods, Coach David Jones brought the spirit of 212 with him. Yes, Coach Jones had a great big vision uh, for this school. He and Mrs. Sue McGowan, who was the initial, uh, the inaugural principal, the two of them together formulated the idea of the power of 212. It started, I think, with the football program and it filtered into everything we did there at the school to uh, trying to win and band contest all the way to the football field, basketball court, or any level of competition that there was a such a strong belief in being successful that nothing else is going to be acceptable. Although he has since retired, Coach David Jones' impact will forever be in the legacy of Cy Woods. Some people outside looking in may think it's somewhat pig-headed or big-headed, uh, but we don't see it as that. We look at it as our war cry, that it's something that we do, it's something we live by, and it's a standard that we live up to and try to achieve each and every day. The, the spirit of 212 will always be here. Uh, it's a sort of in-your-face thing when you arrive here, but it's not an overwhelming thing. It's something that we want everyone to become a part of. The power of 212 is here to stay. Reporting for CW Media, I'm Ben Parler. The English department has a new addition this year, and he's already made a big impression on staff and students. Abby Hernandez has more on our published poet. We have many talented teachers at Cywoods High School who do more than just teach. Uh, I've been writing poetry seriously since I was in my early 20s, about 22, 23. Before that, I wrote song lyrics that were not very good. But yeah, so early 20s. His works appear in The New Yorker, Harvard Review Online, Iowa Review, and many others. I've written hundreds of poems, very few good ones, but no, I've written a lot of poems. Mr. Lopez has a poetry collection titled We Borrow Gentleness, coming out in October 2022. I have mixed feelings about the poetry collection. I'm proud of the work. I believe in the work, but at the same time, I'm very anxious and, and you know, it, just the idea of having everything out there sort of to be archived is, you know, a little, makes me a little nervous, I guess. Being a writer can be useful when being an English teacher, and Mr. Lopez brings his energy to the classroom. Well, I think that being a poet, I, I feel very connected to language as um, something that's very alive and full of energy, and I try to bring that uh, same philosophy to my teaching to make it feel alive in the classroom. Mr. Lopez leaves us with some final advice for young writers. What I found separates accomplished writers from, you know, writers who don't get anywhere is not talent or, you know, being gifted. It's about perseverance and being able to weather the storm of rejection, which comes a lot, um, quite often, and, and just keep going, keep writing. Reporting for CW Media, I'm Abby Hernandez. Our hallways are filled with new teachers and new students. Our foreign exchange students broke boundaries to come here. James Darden takes a look at some of our most culturally diverse students. At Cypress Woods High School, there are students from all different kinds of places and walks of life. One such group are the foreign exchange students who have been given the opportunity to experience the American education system. For these students, things feel a little bit different from home. Um, I think it's really different to Germany, the school here, but it's much more better. I'm really impressed about the school here because it's 
really individual. Um, it's so much possible to do in school, like activities and sports. The students are learning to adjust to the system. While there are many differences, surprisingly, there are many similarities as well. Teachers um, care more about their students and we do a lot more projects um, in Spain we do more exams and it's everything more theoretical and here we have a lot of practice so it's great, yeah. Along with the infrastructure, the day-to-day -day routine is also a change of pace. So far I haven't had any bad experiences. I just have to get used to the large crowds here in the hallways because the school I go to, I, I'm, I live in the village, <laughs> so it's a lot less people. Um, that's probably one thing I have to get used to, but other than that, it's great here. All in all, these students are enjoying their time here, not only as a guest to our country, but as a lifelong wildcat. I think it will be change the life forever um, in a better way, because you learn so much new things, you um, learn new culture, you know, new people, so you just learn more for your life. and. I just think it's the best you can do. Reporting for C-Dub Media, I'm James Darden III. It's time for a brand new monthly segment, Into the Woods, where we dive deeper into the activities offered here at the Woods. This month we take a peek at AFJROTC. Check it out. my third year in ROTC and um, hoping to stay one more as a senior next year. We, we talk about what it's like being in the Air Force. People that want to join the military, we talk about their career path, like what they want to do. When you're in the military, you're ready for that. We make sure that um, you know, there is some discipline involved. You know, eyes forward, no talking while we're in formation. It's definitely helpful uh, if you do join ROTC in high school. And it, you already go straight to E3 when you join the military, but you go straight up to E3 if you've done all four years. Family, everybody knows each other. Well, that wraps up our first episode of Seat Up Today. Don't forget to give us a follow on Instagram and Twitter. And keep posted by subscribing to our YouTube channel. I'm Maggie Wright. I'm Xavier Gonzalez. Thanks for watching Seat Up Today as we strive every month to, to go, go the, the extra, extra degree. degree.